What's going on guys, Jeros here, so when I walked in from school today, look, look what I found sitting on my doorstep, already unpackaged, I got it sitting right over here, it's the Roxio Game Catch HD, let's get started. So, on the front here we have our component in and component out cables on the back there, right here we got our audio in, and our audio out on the back with a USB port to plug it into our computer, and the system we're going to be using today is... The PlayStation 3 sitting right down there. So, the thing you're going to need is the component cables that came with it, which I already got plugged in the back, and I already got the lines ran for the PlayStation. So, these are the cords you're going to need for the input from your... T Oops. So, these cords right here, they're going to plug into the back of your television. One end is, and the other end is going to go into the Roxio Game Capture end of the import. Okay? And these ones, the ones that have a solid gold finish, these are going to go in your out port from your PlayStation 3 uh, port end of there, or Xbox, whatever you have, Wii, whatever you got. Alright. So. Oh, yeah, and the power cord, I got it running to my computer already. It's just a normal printer cord. I gotta get a longer one. So, let's go ahead and get this stuff plugged in. Right here. I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna plug these in, alright? Alright, so I just wanted to point it out. If you bought the PlayStation cable connectors, you're gonna want the separate side for just for audio. And it'll say audio right on the side, so... I'm gonna plug them in. Let's see if I can actually just set this down. I'm trying to get a good angle. There we are, good. Maybe just that. Alright. So red to red. Oops. I'll just hold it up like this. So, white to white, red to red. That's for the audio now. Now let's go for your picture. You have green, blue, and red. Green is your picture, blue is your contrast, and red is your, um, what is it? Um, sharpness. Okay, now for the front panel of it. Alright, now these two cords come separate, alright, they're not connected, so i set the audio cables right here. We got the audio cables, so let's go ahead and plug the white and the white, alright, there, and the red, and the red, like that. Okay, now we got our other component cables. I'm not going to explain what they are because you already know what they are. Green to green, blue to blue, red to red. Alright, I'm just going to set it over there. Let's see what we get in the box here. So we got it set up. Now, here's the back of it. The side that, the CD, along with the key, the key is no longer valid, <laughs> so if you're going to steal the key, it's not working anymore, I already tried it, alright, so, let's go ahead and get the setup going for the PlayStation, so let's go ahead and turn the PS3 on, along with your television. Now if you have HDMI plugged in, you're going to go ahead and unplug that and plug your component cables in to the back of your PlayStation and TV. Okay? So after that, you are you first you need to unplug your uh, HDMI, then plug in your component. Okay? Make sure your system is turned off. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to want to push the button until it turns off. Then you're going to hold it again until you hear that double beep. 
then you're gonna see a thing on your screen that'll be black. You just wanna go set up normally. Okay. And let's turn on my controller. Uh go over to display settings. Video output. Make sure it's on component. Make sure you selected the correct resolution. Do not select 1080p. Okay. Alright. There you are. Go ahead and hit X on that. I'm not going to do it because I already got it set up. Now, after that, it'll take you to sound. What you're going to do is sound settings. Now, sorry. If you have a microphone, a Turtle Beach, like this one, and has that, there is a way you can still do it. Well, I have one, okay, this cord right here, you can probably see that, that's from the PlayStation, right there, as I plug this back in, okay, that's from the PlayStation, the other one's to the TV. Alright, so I have it set on that, if you have a microphone, that has optical audio but you're gonna normally want the audio input component cable and you just wanna go ahead and hit X on that and it'll say that setting alright you can have multi audio on so if you wanted that on there you can go ahead and sure have it on alright and you're gonna go ahead and launch a game and I'm going to see if the Roxio game capture software is working correctly. I'll meet you there. Alright, so there we go. Let's go ahead and go over to our software. Now we get look at the TV. Looking good there. Let's go over to our PC. Looks like it's loaded up. Let me uh, audio adjust here. There we are. Now a few things, you want to have it on AVI for best quality. Okay, sorry I can't hold the camera very steady. There's your details that hasn't been updated. Uh, down here, you got your uh, quality of picture. Down here, you got your recent films or pictures you've taken. Over here, you got the audio and board picture control. And right smack dab in the middle, you got the start capture button. Or simply, you can press F5, excuse me, F6 or F7. F6 is to start, F7 is to stop. So, this is the end of this. I will record about 10 seconds of footage, or maybe a mi minute of footage, to show you guys how it is. Alright, thanks guys for watching. I will see you on Saturday for custom games starting Saturday. If you want to join, go ahead and send JBBK78 invite or a message, or simply follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or send me a message on YouTube saying I want to join Custom Games. We're going to be doing a trial run every uh, Friday and Saturday. I want to try to do them Friday and Saturday. Um, we're going to be doing a trial run for a month. See how it goes. So, thanks for stopping by. I will see you all Friday and Saturday of this week. Goodbye.